it, mamas. What's going on? Okay. Let's get started, shall we? We shall. A video a day in May, vlog number 23. And this is simply a need and need to my girls, and we just going to catch up a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I, I wanna, look, I'm going to have to stop telling a lot of my business, I, you know? I'm going to have to stop that, you know, because, you know, I, I just I just need to to quit. You know, I'm 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 going just a little bit too far and it's unnecessary. Um and uh so that I will work on. But until such a time, you know, we just got to cover some shit. You know what I mean? Cause I mean, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what my motivation is. My motivation is, you know, um there's somebody out there, one of you guys are going through the same shit that I go through. You know what I mean? And it's just, you know, I, I feel as though I'm just being a vessel to allow you to um, see another side to the situation, perhaps give you reason to make some changes. Um, a lot of people don't want to admit when things aren't a certain type of way. A lot of people don't want to admit when um, things are really fucked up and, or at least just talk about it outright. And Tina's, like, talking about it out right. And a lot of people it just ain't, you know, that's like, you know, a lot of motherfuckers ain't really rolling with that. So, you know, but I, but I choose to be honest about it and, and to talk about, uh, you know, different things that go on in my life. And sometimes it's not cool. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, as long as I'm helping somebody, I guess I'm, I guess I'm all right. You know, once again, I'm going to go with the energy flow any goddamn way, okay? So, it got to be working for me. Otherwise, I'll be going in a different direction already. You know what I'm saying? Not talking about it, but already going in a different direction. But, anyway, girls, oh my God. What can I say? What do I say? You know, it's like, you know, where, where... Where, where do we start at, you know? It's like, I can't really, it's not like we could really, like, get together on some old, what you call it, uh, um, El Torito's, El Gato Goro. Do y'all have El Gato Goro in y'all area and shit? El Gato Goro used to be this masking spot like El Torito's that a lot of people, no, maybe it was Guadalajara. Maybe it was Guadalajara or shit. I don't know. Nah, but there was an El Gato Goro. It was an El Gato Goro, though. Real shit. But a lot of motherfuckers would come and, you know, they would have like a happy hour, get down, and they had music and this and that. And, you know what I'm saying? It was a grown, you know, grown and sexy after work spot that motherfuckers was, you know, um, you know, getting on and getting with or whatever. Well, anyway, <clears throat> girls, oh my God, listen. I feel like, how do I feel? Let's start with that. How do I feel? I feel good. You know, I feel. I finally feel rested. Um, the last couple of days, I hadn't been really getting no rest. And I've been, you know, like an uneasiness in my spirit, you know. Because I had already told, um, you know, Kenny that, you know, I was, you know, kind of cool. And that, um, you know, I'm just ready to, you know, push forward and move forward or whatever. So, since I told him that, you know, I've just been kind of, you know, cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to, you know, because, see, I believe that, you know, to really have closure, you need to start with your legs. You need to close the motherfuckers and stop fucking these niggas. Because the thing is, it's too much emotion behind it. You understand? And see, I can't fuck without feelings. And it draws me back, you know. And for me to try to grow right now, it's going to have to make me uncomfortable. For me to really grow, I'm going to have to be uncomfortable for a minute. And I'm a little uncomfortable. So I'm not sleeping very well. Um, you know, I'm just kind of unsettled a little bit because, you know, I, I, I'm I, not, what should I say? I'm not one of them cutthroat ass people. Bitch, fuck you, fuck you, motherfucker. And uh, nigga, fuck you, and nigga. I'm not one of them. You know what I'm saying? I really have a heart for people. And I really don't, I believe that shit have a way of turning itself around and coming back around on you. So I really try to, in my relationships, 
whether it's in friends or loving relationships or whatever, even platonic ones, you know, I try to treat people accordingly. You know, I really, really try to treat people accordingly. But if you piss me off now, it's going to go all haywire because I'm not going to be one of them that's going to take a whole bunch of bullshit. I'm not going to be able to do it. That's not where I come from. That's not part of my mortar or nothing. You understand what I'm saying? I don't come from that. That's not part of my makeup. It's not in my bone marrow. I ain't going to be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to be able to get handled any kind of way. You know, so... But I am one that will give and keep giving and one that is also, um, I don't hold grudges either. I could be like pissed off with your ass and bitch, you know what I'm saying? I'm, nigga, I'm cool on your motherfucking ass. You full of shit, nigga, and I'm straight, you know. And But after that, after we didn't had this exchange and you done said what you had to say and I done said what the fuck I had to say, nigga, if you don't, nigga, uh, uh, somebody roll the weed, hey, hey. I wanna get high in the motherfucker. Did, 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 hey, do y'all, hey, if y'all ain't on to the Hamiltons, those are my boys, and they're bad as a motherfucker, and I just had to show y'all on this last motherfucking video on how they get down, okay? I just wanted to show y'all a little bit on how they get down, but anyway, they got this one little get down, talk, talking about somebody roll the weed. That shit is so motherfucking fire. Oh my God, it's on, it's on YouTube, okay? And it's called Somebody Roll the Weed. That motherfucking shit is banging. Okay? So, anyway. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, I don't hold grudges. Like, I could be mad and everything. And I could be pissed off and stuff. But after we done talked about it and all that other kind of stuff. Or even if we ain't done talked about it and we just done parted ways to allow, you know what I'm saying, eagles to go down and motherfucking souls to heal. Then, therefore, hey, I'll, I'll be cool after that. You know what I mean? I'm, I just don't hold grudges that way. So... You know, it kind of bothers me when, you know, when things aren't right or whatever. So, you know, Kenny had been here and stuff, and it was like, man, you know, he was helping get the garage cleaned up and everything. This motherfucker just going to pussy all weekend long. And I just couldn't do it because I just felt like it's going to be pulling me back. You know what I mean? If I'm trying to move forward, you know, allow me to do so. You know, if I'm going to be weak, let me be weak. But, nigga, don't just force the issue. You know what I mean? Don't just... You know, I mean, come on now. You know, I don't do, I'm not, I can't, all my life I've been a one, if, 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 if I'm, if, if me and you, how do I put it? If me and you fucking, it's just going to be me and you fucking. It's not going to be me, you, him, him, her, him, 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 him. I'm not one of them. I can't do it. I can't disconnect that way. You know what I mean? And it's like. You know how, like, you meet people, some people, and they be like, shit, they can just do that. I don't know how they do it. I can't, I'm not one of them. I can't, you know? So, it's like, you know, it's just kind of hard, you know? It's just kind of, you know, it's just, I don't know. Hey, Kenny. Hey, well, uh, guy's coming over. He's going to try to make, he's uh, finishing up another job. Okay. And uh, when I talk to him, he's trying to button it up. All right. So he's gonna try to make it, uh, you know, at least have some sunlight. To and what time? Discuss. What time are you supposed to be meeting him? Well, you're meeting him here at what time? Well, he's Today's gonna call time? me when he's uh, when he's around. Oh, okay. So. Have a contractor coming by, and having some more shit, you know, done here around the house, and the guy is come coming over to give us an estimate. And see, I don't like to. Um, you know, deal with these guys by myself, you know, even though I'm versed, don't misunderstand me, I'm well versed, when it comes down to all this right here, oh man, I can talk to the best of ones, okay, it's no problem, I'm all in on everything that you're talking about, you get to talk about some footings, and you know, uh, you get to talk about sheathing, and you know, brown coat, and all that, I'm mean, nigga, I'm on all that, you understand me, I'm, I'm, what we talking about, okay, so, but sometimes it's hard when it's another man and they, you know, because they want to try to get over. As soon as they see a woman, they just automatically assume that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So, and therefore, they can sell me the cherry moon and I'm going to roll with it. You know what I mean? But then when I get to talking to them motherfuckers and they get to be like, you know, oh, she really know what she's talking about. You know, sometimes it don't, you know, it's just, just to hold down and yeah. calm down and all that right there. I'd much rather uh, prefer. Let me see. 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 Let me see.
he, you know, come over and deal with these contractors and things. Them, and not me because it's just not right. Did y'all see that shit? Ow. Did you see it? Did you check that? Um. So yeah, um, so girls, man, you know, um, we gotta, you know, we just gotta talk and shit, like on some real shit. We gotta talk and really catch up and everything, and you know, I don't know, nigga. I feel like Stella, you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like Stella. It's like I'm going through an array of different things, an array of different emotions, an array of different, I don't know. I'm tripping, man. And then the other night, I had, I was, you know, sleep right. This motherfucker, I had a motherfucking dream. Nigga, it was like Tales of the Crypt. It was like going through different scenarios, like different things. It was crazy. And then it, and then it, and then it, you know, it click off that and then go on to something else. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. Um, check this out. How about my daughter? I guess my daughter and one of my sons apparently. Um, they had sent the picture to their dad, you know, the picture that I posted on Facebook, well, the same picture that, uh, that I had posted on, what video was that? What video was it that I, on what I was wearing of the white jumpsuit, I don't know, it was like one or two videos behind us right now, and I had the white jumpsuit on that I had made and everything, and they sent it to their daddy, Right? How about Tony sent me a motherfucking text message? You know, and I, I, it was like the shit was in code. I'm like, nigga, what is you talking about? You know what I mean? It's like, what the fuck is you talking about? Because real shit, you know, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. I much rather prefer to have some long-lasting friendships in my life that it just last through the test of time. You know, without no expectation. I don't want any more ex because I don't want to get hurt no more with that. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, have in my thought process that we about to be exclusive, and then the you know what I'm saying the motherfucking the ground fall up out the bottom. You know what I'm saying some bullshit arise, or I don't want to have expectations of you know we about to do this or we're going there or whatever whatever we're gonna do. And, or you were supposed to call me last night, or you, or we were supposed to, um, let's see what we were supposed to run to LA to go to Golden Bird to go get some chicken. How about that? Cause that is my shit. Okay, I love that shit to just bust up and just be like, you know what? Let's go get some chicken. Fuck it. Do you understand that I am all in? I am so in. I'm like, oh, okay. When we, we let's go then. Hell yeah, let's go. That's my now. That's my shit right there to go get some Golden Bird. So. Um, that's what I came up with. But, you know, if we have something planned or whatever, if, if I feel as though we're in that type of union, you know, I don't want no expectations because I don't want to get hurt no more with that. You know what I mean? So I'd much rather prefer you go ahead on and do whatever the fuck you're going to do and allow me to do the same. And that, and it's what it is. You know what I mean? Because I'm not fine. I'm, I don't give a fuck about, you know, well, let me, let me say this. I don't want to say that, but. You know, I'm flattered and I'm and I'm happy and we we had a, long, a whole many years together. A whole I mean over 20 years. Over 20 years. That's my coolest. I'm going to say my bestest nigga. He used to be my bestest nigga for a long time, but you know, at the end I was like, you know, kind of questioning some of the things that he was doing, so I can't really put him on the bestest list. Like I used to, you know what I'm saying? Kind of, sort of, depending on what the scenario is. But for the most part, the nigga, nigga done been demoted, you know what I mean? So, you know, uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, girls, we, man, maybe we'll start back in again, um, tomorrow. And, uh, oh, okay. And, uh, and get caught up in everything, 
But just know that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting some rest now. Last night I slept so motherfucking good last night. Oh, my God, I slept so good last night. Oh, my God, I slept good. So it's like, okay, so now it's like I'm starting to get, you know, and then on this video thing, you know, I understand that sometimes y'all ain't feeling them one or two many videos. I don't, I wasn't feeling that shit when I was seeing some of that bullshit either. But trying to do this, you know, sometimes, you know, as the, and as I said before, as the day progresses, it makes it harder and harder and harder to come on here and to really do a video. Now, like, right now I'm on my flip. So when I come up off of this and press stop, then I got to bring the laptop out, put that onto the laptop, import all that right there. Um, if it's over, I don't like to have, um, videos over 30 minutes. So if it's over 30 minutes, then I'll break it up. Okay. So then therefore, okay. So then, you know, I, it's a whole bunch of processes and shit to do. But when I'm doing it on my iPad, now on my iPad, it used to give me a 10 minute maximum. I don't know if it's a 10 minute maximum anymore. And that's why one day I was doing a video up here and I think I was talking about purses or some shit in last week and i kept looking at the time i was looking at the time because usually when it gets to 10 minutes then it just shuts down and you gotta um you gotta you know um edit it and cut some of the video off on the end you know what i'm saying to cut it down to the 10 minute maximum you know for uploading or whatever so maybe they don't change that shit because it did say on that particular video 10 minutes in one second and usually it don't even allow you to go over not one second. So maybe they done changed it up and that's just some new shit. I don't know. But when I'm doing it with my iPad, it's just a direct upload. What it is, what it is. You ain't got no time to be changing shit, nigga. I'm um, going and run that, you know. But with this right here, I am able to, you know, cut it down, do this and that, do that, 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 and boop, bop, 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 bop. Uh, you see what I'm saying? You see? You know, and it's like, man, you know, making it hard, you know what I mean? Trying to make it hard for me. Just trying to, you know, be there on everything. Okay, well, you know you needed this done, so I'm here to make sure this and this got to get done right. And I understand that, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm cool with that. But also respect where I'm at, too, and where I'm trying to go. That don't mean that I love you no less, which I don't. It just means that I ain't got time for the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm growing and I'm just, I'm growing into my own. You know what I mean? Allow me to enjoy the space that I'm in right now. Because I've never been here before. I'm, I'm, am I going to make some mistakes? Hell yeah. Am I going to get talked out of my motherfucking pussy? You got damn right. Okay? Am I going to have some fun? Hell yeah. I've never had this, this uh, you know what I'm saying? I've never felt this way physically before. Um... You know what I'm saying? My kids is finally growing up to where I don't have to constantly be all up on they jock on what they got going on. You know, um, I'm financially stable. I, I don't have to deal with the fact of some motherfucker being like, okay, well, you got a husband or, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't have to deal with all that. So I'm in a place that it's like, you know, allow me to enjoy this right here. You know what I mean? Allow me to enjoy this. I worked hard to get here, you know? You don't know the price I had to pay to get here neither. Hold on. <laughs> Senior, okay? Senior, still talking about that motherfucking picture. Nigga, I'm going to put you on ice right now because you cutting the fuck up. And, nigga, I'm good, okay? That jumpsuit fucked him up, too. Nigga, I'm good, nigga. You know, um, you know, but the thing is, right now, allow me to just do me. Allow me to just have some fun with it. Like I was saying before, if it was you, what would you do? You know what I mean? If it was you, what would you do? And I'm still trying to keep some integrity intact. I'm not out here just having no pussy party and fucking niggas and all that old type of shit. I got one motherfucker that I'm real happy with right now that I'm cool with. Okay? We good. And I already know that I have to get up out of my business naive because the near for you know, I'm a trust, trusted. Auntie, auntie is no goddamn fool. I understand God takes care of fools and babies. But I'm no, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no rookie. You know what I mean? I'm part of the starting five. You know what I'm saying? 
I ain't none of that. I'm sharp as a motherfucking gin seek knife. You understand me? You're going to have to wake up real early in the motherfucking morning to put one on me. My third eye is real motherfucking sharp. My intuition is cold-blooded. You know what I'm saying? I'm sheltered by the shepherds, baby. I'm good. Please understand. Nigga can't talk me out of my motherfucking wallet nor my pussy. Can't do it. You just can't do it. I don't, I don't, I'm not cut from that. I talk more motherfucking shit than a little bit. I talk just as much shit as a nigga will. There's no problem. And I back up every ounce of it that I come up. Every syllable is going to be handled. Trust it. I keeps my trunk tight. I got to. I talk too much shit to not have my shit together. Because some motherfucking body going to be trying to figure out what's happening. You know what I mean? So I have to I have to be on top of what is going on. So, but just know that, you know, and even with that, I have a daughter and two sons that's here. You know what I'm saying? My baby is 14 motherfucking years old, which means I got four more motherfucking years, huh? At that point in time, nigga, I'm in Bangkok, nigga, Beijing. I'm I'm gone to motherfucking Guam, nigga, for two weeks. You know what I mean? I can I can still travel now, which I do, which I plan on doing more traveling than the little bit that I'm doing now. But the thing is, <laughs> You know, when my baby is out of the house, like, completely gone, and he's going off to college and all that old type of shit, man, hey, look, check this out. Uh, nigga, if you don't hang me from up off that motherfucker right, I need to be blindfolded. I'm going to need my hands behind my motherfucking back. I'm under arrest and all that. Hang me from this motherfucking beam right here on this right here, this motherfucking swing right here. I'm going to need to do something. Okay, and then I'm going to need another motherfucking hook on top of this motherfucking bed, so then therefore, nigga, you could twirl me around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm a circus or lay your motherfucking. Hey, if you don't run it, huh? I'm having fun. Can I? Like, can I just just allow me to just do this? You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fuck up. Okay. I'm going to fuck up. I'm human frailty. I don't know everything. I'm a novice on some things, but I'm a bad motherfucker on the other things too. And I'm no dummy. You can't talk me into no pyramid. You can't talk me into. Uh, what is that other bullshit? Well, we're going to give you a two-night stay in Vegas if you sign up for this motherfucking uh, timeshare. You can't. I'm not one of them, okay? I'm not I, I don't. I'm not good with sales. I ain't never did home interiors or nothing. I ain't Avon. Nothing. I'm not good with, you know what I'm saying? I'm straight a 100 nigga, okay? That's it. Um, it just, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't, and that's it, and that's all. And I holler at you on the 33rd, and that's what it is. That's it. So you can't talk me up out of my shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you got that because I blessed you with it. That's what's happening on that. We both grown. You know what I'm saying? We knew what it was when it was going down. Nigga, is you straight? Okay, I'm straight too. Nigga, I'll let you buy. You know what I mean? But, you know, if that's what I choose to do, pff, hey, what's happening with it? You know what I mean? But just know that I'm not one of them. I don't do strange flesh like that, but I qualify to do that if I choose to on my own motherfucking time. You understand me? But, man, I ain't got no reason to, you understand me? Because I am satisfied. Know it, okay? Know it. When I tell you, uh, I choose not to be disrespectful. But all I'm saying is, hey, look, check this out. I've never been here before in my life. Don't wake a bitch up. You wake me up, nigga. We're going to be fighting like a motherfucker. Because I'm going to be like, nigga, you did this shit on purpose. Lay this bitch sleep. If I'm asleep, if you, goddammit, if you don't let me hibernate like a bear, let, leave me alone. Nigga, shit, what was Yogi Bell's, the woman on there, what was the motherfucker? She had a bow in her head, shit. I'm that motherfucker. I'm hibernating for the wind if you don't leave me alone and let me sleep. If I'm asleep, let me sleep. Period. That's what's happening. Let me sleep. If it, nigga, if this is a whole fairy tale, some facade shit, okay, well then let me do that. But just know, nigga, there's no Bank of Tina. Mm -mm. Nigga, I don't part ways with coin, okay? I'm leaving legacies around this motherfucker. I'm trying to leave some shit to my kids. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time. I, I, I ain't got time to sponsor no niggas. I don't have to do that. Okay? I don't have to do that. And nor do I have to, you know what I'm saying, deal with a nigga or deal with his campaign because, you know what I'm saying, he got that right. No. That, it's going to be a no on that, too. Okay? It's going to be a no on that, too. But, um, yeah. Anyway, man, it's just, um, you know, everything is everything. And we're going to catch up, uh, though, on some real shit. And, uh, 
Man, I went by Rite Aid a while ago and got me some snacks and shit. I had went up there because they had their... Y'all, I love my motherfucking... Look, check this out. I got me a little humidifier right here. A, a, a aromatherapy get down, right? And I'm loving my oils right now. And I fill this motherfucker up and it goes through all these different colors. Man, it's winning. Oh, my God. I want me a little nature sound get down now. My other one broke on me. It was fucked up. It was old as shit, too. So, it was probably time, you know. But uh, I want me a little earth sound get down. You know what I'm saying? Because, nigga, I got the mask and everything. Nigga, when it's time to go to sleep, good night. What? And a little indica in your life, nigga. You finna hibernate, nigga. Good night. What? Yeah. But anyway, though, so I went to Rite Aid. Because they had the, um, made by, what is it, Nature's Best, I think. The same, the same company that I get my collagen and shit from. And they also got a biotin now that's, you know, that's pretty cold-blooded is what I'm saying. And I get my turmeric, um, from that brand too. And it's buy one, get one free right now at Rite Aid. But they also have aromatherapy oil, okay. And the oil this week is two for ten. So, in my... Nature's truth, cause that's the name of my mother. God damn, ain't that something? Thank you, Father. It's made by Nature's Truth because Nature's Truth is the same. My little humidifier thing right here is made by the same thing. And when I bought this, which I got this right here from Sam's Club, I think it was nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, I think I paid nineteen ninety nine for this right here, Sam's Club, a couple of weeks ago. And you either had the one with relaxation, which had lavender in it, or they had another one with the other scent in it, and I think it was like a invigorating, you know what I mean? So I think it had like ylang ylang in it and something else, something else, something else, but they only had, um, I wanted this one, you know, but I love ylang ylang, I love sandalwood, sandalwood and all those different things, and I, I, I love, um, I love the sage and... You know, like right now, I'm burning patchouli. No, I'm not burning patchouli. That's dragon's blood. But I burn dragon's blood patchouli. I also burn um, Egyptian musk. Um, yeah, that's my shit. That's how I get down. You know what I mean? I, I, and it just makes me real cool. You know, I go in and outside, go check on my trees. Them bitches is doing what they supposed to do. Y'all know I make my own compost. Y'all already know that. Y'all know I'm kind of... You know, holistic around my spot. You know, I like, you know, some nature shit. That's, well, that's what I'm on, you know. And um, so, let's see. For the past year, I had been, you know, on a recycling get down. Whereas, you know, keeping up with rainwater. Because, you know, we're going through a little drought. Um, um, recycling, um, you know, my, my, you know, my real water bottles. Um... And what else? And I make my own compost from my kitchen clippings and stuff. Now, one thing about making your compost is the fact that you put no meat or no dairy products in there. It has to be all fruits and vegetables. It can't be fruits and vegetables that got ranch dressing and shit on it. Now, now you done fucked up the whole pile. You know what I mean? Because that got dairy in it. But if you just, you know, got the dripping, the peelings and stuff from the onions, the peelings from, um, from, um, bananas... Um, things of that nature, my, my, um, pulp from, uh, my juicing, you know, things of that nature. And I just put it all in my compost pile. So outside I have a compost drum, you know, that turns, you know, with a real big, like, I don't know, like, probably about a 30, 50 gallon drum or something. Um, I got it from Home Depot and they, it has two sides and the inside. It has the time side that you have to continue to add to it. It's not time yet. Then they have the, the other side that's, you know, it's been curing and it's ready to go and there it is there. And also one thing I did do though, you can buy a bag of manure, which I know this is getting ready to sound crazy as a motherfucker, but your girl, I love the smell of manure. Is that crazy? I do. I know y'all tripping right now, but I do. I love the smell of it, you know. And just like I love the smell of chlorine. So that's just like a little, you know what I'm saying, what they call that little factoid or whatever. Some little factoid about me. Yeah, I love the smell of chlorine. And I love the smell of manure. And I love the smell of acetone, too. So I know that's kind of crazy, huh? I don't know what the fuck that means, but yeah, I'm one of them. I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with it, you know. But uh, anyway, 
Um, let me get up off of this one because when this guy come, I got to give him a list on, you know, the things that I want done. So then, therefore, there's not nothing left out on the estimate. Um, so anyway, let me go ahead on and get up out of this one. Um, we will catch up again later on in the week, you know, as time permits and, you know what I'm saying, and everything is synchronized and everything going with it, going in chakras and shit is all lined up. Then we're going to come on back up in this motherfucker and need it then. Go ahead on. I'll tell y'all what's at then. You know what I mean? So, but uh, right now I got to I gotta hit up some business. You know, this guy is on his way and shit. And uh, I just need to know, you know, make sure that, you know, things are handled accordingly and correctly. Okay. Ear hustling like a motherfucker. You hear me? Anyway, I'm out of this one right here. I should talk to you guys uh, soon. And um, I'm up out of this piece. All right, family. Love you guys. Love you guys for watching. Video Day and Bay. Vlog number 23. Gone.